Shalom, 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 Israel. Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we must acknowledge our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, uh, for allowing this word to come out. I hope you sincere brothers and sisters are truly, truly um, edified by this word. Um, what I want to speak about, brothers and sisters, is time. Okay? And, and, and if I had to title this video, if I had to title this word today, I would title it, um, if you misvalue, okay, if you misvalue time, okay, or, or how can I put this, um, if you misvalue time, or if you, yeah, if you misvalue time, right, if you lose the value of time, life will pass you by okay um life will pass you by what i mean by that is fellas when i was just meditating i'm just leaving the gym and i was just meditating on this word and i had the title the lord gave it to me and i got sidetracked and now i'm about to do the word so um just bear with me through the spirit power y'all watch him y'all was shy uh, the, the the title will come come together by the time I complete this word. But what I want to speak about is valuing time, fellas. Um, time is not something we can get back. You know, you can lose money, you can get that back over over time. But when you lose time, that time cannot be recouped. That time cannot you can't get that time back. And um, the reason why I'm speaking about time, because time is another way of a season, you know. Um, every day, you know, we are allotted 24 hours a day. And in those 24 hours, you, you, you want to hopefully get eight hours of sleep, eight hours of work, and eight hours of leisure time, or whatever you want to call it, right? But when it comes to this thing called time, right? The life we live is, is uncertainty. Snap of a finger, life can be over. But I, what I'm noticing that people have a sense of that we got all this time and we don't. So what I want you brothers and sisters to get from this word today, so-called Sunday, the first day of the week, is understand the, understand the value of time. Because if you don't, life will pass you by meaning that life is going to go by so fast before you know it 20 years going to be 20 years going to be them pass you up 20 years man i don't know what my tongue tied whatever is going on today i can't even talk man 20 years will have passed you by if you misvalue the importance of time if you if you if you lack the understanding of value of time man I see so many people every day, man, just wasting time doing nothing, man. I mean, let me, let me share this with y'all. Imagine you, the Lord put you in a space to meditate, right? And reflect on your life. You do a self-examination of your life and you go back from 20 years ago to now. You go back 20 years ago and retrace your steps of life up, up to now. So I'm 50, right? So if I go back to age 30 and I retract the steps of my life from 30 to 50 and I have done it. And let me tell you, man, I have wasted a lot of time to the point where I'm like, wow, dude, that 20 years went like that. And I didn't value it right. I didn't take advantage of it. So now that I'm 50, the Lord has allowed me to see 50. Whatever years he allowed me to live after this day. Lord willing, I want to try to maximize that time, man. And Ecclesiastes, I'm going to bring you Ecclesiastes chapter 3, 1 through 4. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1, and it reads, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Verse 2, a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time, Ecclesiastes 3 and 3, a time to kill and a time to heal. 
a time to mourn and a time to dance. So there are certain seasons where certain things will happen, brothers and sisters. But the thing is this, man, valuing time, valuing your time, man, you should treat your time like, like one of the most important currencies. We understand money is a currency, right? But I'm gonna tell you a more value currency than money is the currency of time. And like I said, man, you brothers and sisters, please understand, man. Those you love the most, try, try to cherish those relationships and try to cherish maximizing that time with them. You know, my mom is 70 years old, man. And that's, my mom's is like one of my closest best friends. And according to the Bible, if you live up to age 70, according to Psalms 90 and 10, you have lived, you know, you have made it to that threshold of life expectancy, which is age of 70. Lord willing, my mom's will be 71 in a month from now. And so I know at some point, man, you know, if my mom lived to be 100, that'd be amazing. And if I live to see her be an age of 100, that would be amazing. And um, so, you know, I was thinking about like, man, while my mom's is here, even though we close, I cherish every opportunity, every relationship, every time we, we talk, every time we, you know, we talk every day for the most part, but same thing with my daughters, man. I, you know, I try to cherish these moments, man, with everybody that I love. And, um, you know, so brothers and sisters, if you don't get nothing else out of this thing that we call time, valuing time, those you love the most, cherish that time, man. Cause it's going to be a time where you ain't going to have that time. The, the saddest thing that I would hate to see is you misvalue time. And then when you lose someone that you cared about, but for whatever reason, you was mad at them, for whatever reason, you was holding some type of resentment toward them, for whatever reason, you were holding some type of grudge or anger towards them. So because of that, you chose not to really spend time with them. And then your brain click and realize like, wow, too much time has went by. Let me try to reconnect with those that I have lost and then somebody you want to reconnect with time that you have lost and they die. So don't wait till you lose a person and, and, re and, and start realizing you should have invested more time with them. If you are alive right now and there's somebody you love and cherish and care about and for whatever reason you have lost time with spending with that individual, now, today, put all that BS aside, reconnect with these people and start taking value, taking advantage of the time that we have because we ain't gonna always have it, brothers and sisters. I hope you sincere brothers and sisters were edified by this word and we give all praises, glory and honor to our heavenly father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh, for allowing this word to come out. Shalom.